America. It spans a continent with a diversity of people, regions, and ways of life. It's a democracy and a land of opportunity. The United States is a forward-looking, future-focused nation whose greatest strength is the innovation and entrepreneurial spirit of its people. America is the home of new ideas. A high school student is in federal custody tonight, accused of helping another young man slip into Syria to join ISIS. But the threats to our security are multiplying. I fear them more than I fear ISIL. I fear Iran. You fear Iran more than I ISIS. Want. China is flexing its military might. It seems we're not the only ones with new ideas. Potential adversaries are developing state-of-the-art military technologies. The Kremlin has invested billions of dollars modernizing its military. And these new technologies are aimed squarely at the United States. On grand display in the Chinese capital, new weapons, which U.S. officials believe are designed specifically to target U.S. military assets. Other countries are also threatening American national security in new ways. These enhanced capabilities go well beyond guns and rockets. The Sony hack has pulled the curtain back on a dangerous and mysterious branch of the North Korean military cyber soldiers. And the North Koreans aren't the only ones waging cyber warfare. Iran hacks into the control system of an American dam just 20 miles north of New York City. Terrorist organizations are also planning and executing attacks against the U.S. homeland. 50 people dead, another 53 wounded after the authorities say 29-year-old Omar Mateen opened fire inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. To defeat these threats, the Army must compete for American talent. A sharp spike in the rate of people voluntarily leaving their jobs is pumping up wages and putting workers in the driver's seat for the first time in a long time. More traditional perks like monetary bonuses and wellness programs aren't enough when the labor pool is as shallow as it is right now. The challenges are clear. America's national security threats are multiplying. Eventually, the United States may be unable to outspend adversaries who are also challenging our technological ascendancy. That's why the Army must innovate in the one area where a free society always has the advantage. People are our most important asset. What I would like to see us do is move from a personnel management system to a world-class, state-of-the-art talent management system. The way we define talent for the Army is it's not one single thing. It's a, it's a combination of someone's knowledge, their skills, and their behaviors. We're just not talking about the top 5%. We're talking about all of our soldiers. What we want to do is maximize the talent of every soldier, every non-commissioned officer, and every officer in the United States Army. Talent management is a total Army approach. We're talking about all three components, and we're talking about the incredible civilians uh, that work side by side uh, with our soldiers. There's a growing realization that we've got to do better. We're going to have to do things differently than we've done in the past. That we have not fundamentally changed some of the ways we do business in the last 30 years. If you understand how our human resource systems operates, we, we tend to distribute people. We have requirements and we have people and we put them into the requirements. We want to shift from that distribution model to one of talent management. So we want to start looking at our, our soldiers, NCOs, and officers in a much more holistic manner. We're looking at our officers, our NCOs, our soldiers as individuals as opposed to a one-size-fits-all solution uh, for the different requirements that are out there. If we get them in the right job, it takes advantage of all the talents that they have we will be a much better army. But to do that, you've got to know the talent that you have, and we don't see ourselves very well right now, and we don't have enough information to be able to make that right soldier job match in all cases. In the future, we're going to have an integrated um, personnel and pay system. When it is fielded, it will give us the ability to, uh, to see the talent that we have. We'll have all three components on one system. What we want to do is give those involved in developing our leaders and assigning them 
uh, more tools and more information. I think it's absolutely critical as we move into the future that we have a system that is agile and adaptive, just like we've done with other systems. How do you win in a complex world? Well, you want to find those individuals out there uh, who can apply their talents in such a way that we have the competitive edge. We'll be looking at regional expertise. We'll be looking at certain skill sets. We'll be looking at desires. We're taking a look at both cognitive and non-cognitive assessments. My obligation is to make sure that we man the force with the most capable soldiers. Everything that we do is done uh, with a view toward enhancing readiness. And the way we optimize their performance is to understand what their talents are. We want to do that in all aspects of someone's tenure in the Army. We live in a very complex world. We've got some significant challenges if you think about the potential adversaries that we may have. We do want to adapt to the future. So we can't afford not to do this right.